And now for a trip to Ireland with Dave Weiss and Don Schaefer, a couple of local musicians who play Irish music, several different places. And I've actually uh, jammed with you guys and taught, you taught me how to play the Irish drum a couple of few weeks ago. Don, tell us about what you guys are doing. You have, you're with a couple different groups. Yeah, we have uh, uh, the longer term group has been with the um, the Irish Jasper Greens, which is that's their logo here. I met these guys about uh, the year two thousand. They had um, they were Civil War reenactors who sang around the campfire, and then they started playing at Jane Patrick's Pub in Baltimore, and then he moved up to uh, the Union Hotel in about 2000, 1998, maybe it's nineteen ninety eight. And that's where I met them there. Um, and those guys mainly do singing. There's about 10, 10 of them. And they sing Irish pub songs and rebel songs and whatnot. And uh, so they're great fun to be with. So uh, I, we sing a lot of those songs. We also threw in a couple of fiddle tunes, um, Dave and I, and sometimes one or two other instrumentals. We'll throw in a couple of fiddle tunes in there. Uh, all Irish, basically. And, and you perform regularly with those guys. Where would yeah, we did the Irish Festival in November, the Maryland Irish Festival down in the Timonium Fairgrounds. Uh, we're there every year, uh, and here and there, uh, places as well. Um, but the session, we also play at the session at Minahan's uh, in, uh, in Elfton, which is with the old Howard House Hotel. That's where and, I uh, saw you. Yeah, Dennis and Ingrid Minahan run that. They opened up a few years ago, and uh, um, Dennis is from Ireland. And uh, kind of funny thing is, I bought this book about 15 years ago. It's just a simple paperback book of uh, Irish songs, right? And I recently looked inside of it. I have not been looking at it a long time. And there is D. Minahan, 1225-68. No kidding. So, so I think this is Dennis's book. And somehow, and he must have had it over in Ireland. Somehow it made it all its way to some Irish festival in Philadelphia, Baltimore. I picked it up at some time. I showed it to him one time and his eyes kind of went like that. <laughs> it's pretty surreal. Just another reason we say it's a small world. <laughs> so, Dave, you, this this instrument here is not your conventional yeah, guitar. Every, every place uh, we play, uh, people come up to me and they're they're very curious about this instrument because it's very different than a regular guitar. It's it's uh, what they call a tenor guitar, but it's double strung, uh, as they say, uh, the same concept as a twelve string guitar, and uh, it's popular among Irish musicians also, but. Uh, it's sort of like a replacement for a, an Irish bazooki, which is a flat-back bazooki uh, instrument. It uh, plays an octave lower than a mandolin. But it's got a very nice uh, sound to it. And, and I'm not sure the uh, sound picks it up, but uh, it's got a very unique sound. And it, uh, it always uh, attracts people to find, even guitarists come in and say, what is that you're playing? And uh, of course, I, I love it because I love it. It's, it's a very nice sounding instrument. And it's locally made, is it not? Well, that's what's nice about it. The, uh, I guess you're call, uh, calling us local artists, but the, here's a third artist here. In, in uh, Port de Closet, this instrument was uh, built by a local luthier, uh, Clay Schaefer, and um, I, I think he's a genius at play, uh, making instruments, and um, you know the sound is the proof of that. Uh, sure. Uh, so... Uh, sounds uh, with the fiddle and the guitar. We'll do, do a couple of tunes so people have a real sense of what it sounds like. We're looking forward to that. Now, this here, is this, what is, what is this, Don? Some it's people might have uh, seen us before as O'Hara's Cup is, was the uh, name of our, we had a trio for a number of years, and uh, Dave also plays the harp very, very well, nice. I might add, and Karen Cunningham also played along with us and sang most of the songs, and we played around the Melbourne Stone Theater, uh, you know, the uh, Maritime Museum, uh, the um, coffee, house coffee the, the Elf, North Elk Coffee House. Uh, so uh, we no longer exist as a group anymore, but uh, it was a fun time. It was one of the most fun yeah. things I've ever done with uh, folk music. Well, we're really glad that you guys came here. Tell us again about the two, there's two recurring things that you both do. One's at Minahane's and one is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Minahane session is more of a traditional Irish session, which is primarily instrumental music uh, that has been, you know, you'd find any place in Ireland, not just in Ireland, but for, for over 100 years in this country, in all the big cities when the Irish diaspora, you know, the great immigration came starting in the 1840s, uh, it, it established itself and the, the culture just kept in the big city. So these uh, playing for dancers, the Irish dancers, and the, you know, we had Irish neighborhoods in all the major cities, 
um, Chicago, New York, Baltimore, uh, Boston, of course. And Elkton, Elkton came a little later, but uh, yes. Well, we're trying it. And now in Elkton the last several years. To recreate the whole Right, concept. and that's yes. every second and fourth Thursday. Second and fourth Thursday, and yes. And we're starting Sundays in the uh, off-summer months. Nice. Also. So we do, and then we do the Union Hotel on the first and third Thursday. That would be the Irish Jazz for that's Greens. The, the, the Jazz for Greens, okay. The singing group, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thank you both for coming mm -hmm. down. Then we miss anything? I look forward to seeing you come by many hands with us. Yeah, yeah well, I'm gonna, I need another lesson on the, what do you call the, the Irish Baron, group? Yes. Baron, yes. Baron, yeah. So thank you both. Thank you. All right. thank you. We'll look forward to hearing you. Thanks for having us.